to a fast start. Um, and kind of kind of slowed down there in, uh, in the second quarter and the third quarter. We, tried, we picked it up on defensive end in the, in the second half, but uh, I mean it was a relatively slow game for us. We were struggling with rebounding a little bit, let him get too many offensive rebounds, and then we couldn't convert with our own offense. But we picked it up second half, most definitely. We just came out there and we just had to play, knowing that we didn't want to go home. So we just came out there. We just had to do what we had to do. How were you guys able to maintain the lead throughout the game, even though they had their runs? Well, like I said, we had we did start out uh, fast to help build the lead initially. I think defensively we were getting at our initial stop, but we, we gave up too many offensive rebounds. What were some of the adjustments you guys had to make as they tried to come back? Uh, close out on the shooters hard because they were making things and uh, getting inside out. It looked like early on you were a spark of the offense, hitting a, a bunch of threes. Talk about your role on this team in tonight's win. Um, I'm a very big role, um, right. just to play, you know, be a point guard. But my other teammates get points too. And that's it. Uh, rebounding. The, uh, we had to start boxing out more. I had to get more rebounds uh, and put back too. You guys go uh, shoot 19 for 47 for the game. It's not a great statistical. Uh, spot, but you guys still come up with a win. Talk about this team's motivation to win. Uh, well, I, from the start, we talked about winning championships, and when you talk about winning championships, it's never going to be perfect. So you got to find a way to win a lot of times. And you know, it's, sometimes that's tough wins, sometimes it's easy wins. But tonight was a tough win. It's a grinded out game, and we came out on top. You know, this year it's been a lot about the team having a lot of confidence and execution down the stretch. Talk about your team's confidence level and your execution down the stretch. Um, we had a lot of um, confidence. Ever since the PA game, we had a whole bunch of confidence. So we just, ever since then, we've just been going off of that. Uh, we did a better job executing in the fourth quarter than we did the second and third. Uh, we had we talked about getting ball reversals and not trying to score off the first pass. Off the first pass. What are your expectations for the rest of the season? Wins. I'm expecting to get a ring at the end of this. What's the, what's this team's uh, confidence level after you know coming back from 19 points down the other night, uh, beating the Princess Anne team, coming out battling and uh, going up big, and then having to battle out down the stretch? What's this team's confidence level right now? Um, our team confidence is really high right now. We we really like. Yeah. I'm just feeling it right now. So yeah. You have four uh, players tonight in double figures. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's good. I always, you know, I always talk about sharing the ball and kind of letting the ball do its work. And I think we did that for the most part. As you guys advance and have the potential to play another Princess Anne team, how do you guys get ready to take on such a, a another challenge like that? A good practice. Um, get some good sleep before the game and just put tonight's game away and get ready for the next. Um, we just gotta, we just practice hard, and then we come out and we gotta play. All comp, we gotta have confidence. We gotta execute, do everything, play defense, everything. Uh, first thing is get them off the, get them off the feet. Cause we got kids that played a lot of minutes tonight. They have to play a lot of minutes on Saturday, so we want to get them off the feet. It's gonna be more about mental preparation.